Well, now to a license plate problem at local border crossing is it has the potential to cause even bigger delays. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Gilad Malamed has more on a flaw in some Ontario license plates. This is a common sight, Ontario license plates crossing into Buffalo. Jim Blake from St. Catharines makes the trip a couple of times a month. We crossed at the lower bridge and we just go to Niagara Falls and do a little grocery shopping. He has the traditional white and blue plates, but take a look at the new dark blue Ontario plates, the license number nearly invisible at night. Border officials say these automatic plate readers can't read them either. We've only seen a handful of them in the recent weeks. Michael Taylor is a supervisory CBP officer he says usually officers can type in the plate numbers manually without having to leave the booth. He says the new Ontario plates are not affecting wait times because they're not as common. The time it takes an officer to correct a license plate is, is minimal. So right now we're not seeing any changes, but if that number increases where they have to correct every license plate from Ontario crossing, it, it could possibly impose on the wait times. The Ontario government just rolled out the plates this month, but are causing enough trouble to be recalled. According to CTV, Ontario officials say revised plates will hit the road soon. We're working collaboratively with all of our key stakeholders, as well as 3M, to deliver an enhanced product in the coming weeks. For Canadians spending their dollars at Western New York businesses. We'll go to Wegmans or Sam's Club or wherever my wife wants to go. They hope the new license plates don't become a roadblock to their travels because if the line at the border is too long, I turn around and go home. At the Peace Bridge, Gilat Malamed, 7 Eyewitness News.